Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to start our new AWS service that is AWS EC2. AWS EC2 is a very much important from a data engineer perspective because as a data engineer we try to deal with a large amount of data and if you have to process large amount of data you should have a good computation capacity. You should have a good computation capacity which can scale up and scale down based on your data size and AWS EC2 provides secure resizable computation capacity in the cloud that's why it is a very much important before coming to the cloud what actually we were using we were using our uh, normal laptop you have a laptop in your laptop you have a 8 gb of ram and suppose you have to process 500 mb of data and as of now you are able to do that you are getting all 500 mb of data in your ram and you are able to process it but tomorrow you are getting a more amount of data because in a big data system we are not sure like how much amount of data will come in future so if you have to process more amount of data you should upgrade your ram power okay so at certain time you will not be able to upgrade a uh, ram power uh, because it's very costly also and it is uh, not a good way also to overcome this all the problem aws ec2 provide good computation capacity where we can scale up and scale down based on our requirements let's do a practical and let us try to understand more about ec2 so in this video we will try to create one ec2 instance we will try to create one windows machine and we will try to see how actually we can select our ram how actually we can select more cpus and all okay so this is my aws console i will search for the ec2 once you will click on the ec2 you will see this particular screen what you have to do you have to click on the launch instance and one thing you remember once you will do a practical try to terminate this or otherwise you will be get get charge okay so better way is like once you do a practice you try to terminate your all the instances that is the better way you can see first we have to give a name so let me give a server name i'll give the windows ec2 something any name you can in bottom you can see we have a amazon machine image so there are so many image which is already available based on the certain requirement so suppose if you require a windows so you can select from windows suppose you want a linux machine you can select a windows linux also as of now we are going to have a windows server so i'll select that so i'll select the windows and you can see from here if you will select you can see multiple options are there if you want to have a windows server 2022 base you can select that so whatever the free tire for the practice purpose you can select that and the bottom one uh, whatever is not free tire it is a chargeable so we'll select with the windows server 2022 this is the free one bottom one you can see the instance type so we have a multiple instance time that actually we'll discuss in upcoming lecture you can see as a free tire uh, we are eligible for the t2.micro and it is a uh, completely free it is providing the one cpu one gb of memory but suppose you want to have a uh, more uh, memory and more gb so there are multiple uh, are available like suppose you want to have four cpu eight gb memory for processing you can select that like that you will get a multiple option so based on your requirement you can select that because uh, we want to have we are just doing a practice so we'll select the free tire here we'll get the one cpu one gb memory only and after that the key pair so we'll click on the create new key pair enter a key pair name so i will just give the windows and click on the create key pair and we'll try to save here so after that the network settings comes here the firewall as of now we are selecting the anywhere all the traffic will be allowed here so that only we are selecting but in the production you have to select uh, the particular the ip and all and the bottom you can see we have a storage capacity in a free tire you will get the 30 gb of ebs so we are going with that now here if you'll see how many windows machine you want to have suppose you want to have 10 you can select the 10 if you want to have one you can select one okay so that is how actually you can select that and after that what you have to do you just have to click on the launch instance now your instance will be creating and after that we'll see how actually we can open that so once you have this click on this instance so you can see this is the this is the one which we have created as of now the state is pending once it is will be available we will try to open it you can see instance is running 
so let me select this particular instance let me go to the action let me click on the connect and now you can see the rdp client so click on this download the remote desktop file so i'll just select this go to the download and i'll try to store that okay let me open this so this one we are downloaded so double click that click on the connect and after that you have to give the password you will go there you will get the this is the username administrator get a password click on the get password upload private key so whatever the key pair we have downloaded right so that we have to upload it so click on this so this key pair we have downloaded so i'll select that open click on the decrypt password after that you will get a password select that give your password click on the ok after that after that the windows machine will be open which we have created click on the yes so let's wait for that so you can see this is a new windows machine which we have created new server we have created this is like a new virtual machine which we have created and uh, it is a windows 2022 and all the operation which you can do here also now if you will see this is the windows machine which got created right this actually we have created and all the operation which you can perform as of now we have selected a one cpu one gb memory that's why it's a slow but based on our requirement and based on our needed we can select more power and uh, that actually we can use as a server and uh, we can perform our operation for the processing okay we'll see more about this and once you will do this operation uh, what you have to do go here select that and go to the action and terminate it okay so that you will not get charged okay so that's how actually you have to remember and that's it in this thanks for watching